Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're covering what's new in Microsoft Office 2024. This is a newly released version of the software and it is now available on our website. Before we get started with the video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, remote desktop licenses, Windows 10, Windows 11, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Before we jump into the application, let's cover some of the key differences. One major change is that the keys are no longer operating system specific. This means that I can purchase an Office 2024 license key and I can either activate it on Mac or PC. However, there is an important distinction to make here. You can't license it to more than one computer at a time. This basically means that I can either put it on my Mac, on my laptop here, or I can put it on my Windows PC, but I can't put it on both. So it's only valid for one computer. Let's say I put it on my PC, but I actually wanted it on my Mac. You are able to transfer the license so I could transfer it from PC to Mac by contacting support. Another key difference that we're gonna get in this update is a faster overall load time and better responsiveness. So basically it just improves speeds and usability. All right, let's jump into the applications. Let's go ahead and start in Microsoft Word. As you can tell right off the bat, if you're already familiar with Office, we have an updated UI. This is going to be aesthetically updated to closely match Windows 11. In keeping with that theme, it's also going to be more aligned with the Mac operating system. And dark mode is going to be more integrated across all apps, for example, if I open Excel. Now inside of Word itself, in addition to the aesthetic updates, we are going to have some improved features such as enhanced collaboration options and new citation options as well. In Excel, we're going to have some generally improved data analysis features. Specifically, we're going to see enhanced features inside of the Power Query Editor. We're also going to see expanded functions that we'll get into in later videos. Inside of PowerPoint, the main things we're going to see are some new slide transitions, improved animation options, and a more robust set of export settings. We can see both in the Animations and Transitions tabs here, we have more to explore than previous versions of Office. Inside of Outlook, we're going to see improved email management, in addition to that, we're gonna see better calendar integrations overall and some pretty big improvements to the search functions. All right guys, so just a recap on the video, we have basically a new theme for Microsoft Office and that UI is gonna feel much more modern and updated for Windows 11 or Mac operating systems. We're also getting improved functionality, better speeds overall, and just a more robust version of Office that will keep up with the modern standards of technology and data sharing. If you found the video helpful, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. One thing that's very helpful for us as we grow the channel is new video topic ideas. We strongly encourage you to put any ideas you may have in the description box below. And most of these ideas get made into actual videos. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.